This week's word of the week is going to be weld. What is a weld? What kind of welds are there? Things like that. That's what we're going to go over this week. I started by um, looking up from our good friend Webster the exact definition of what a weld is, and it says to unite by heating and allowing the metals to flow together or by hammering or compressing with or without previous heating. That is the uh, Webster's Dictionary definition of what a weld is. I wanted to add one thing here. It says nothing about fusion. Uh, so we're going to write fusion over here. Because a weld is fused. That's why it's so strong. Some people mistakenly think that a weld is kind of like a glue. Uh, it's not. You're soldering and brazing. That's not fused. That's kind of like a fancy glue, if you will, if you can think that way. Uh, but the, the weld is, is fused. It mixes all the, all the metal together, and that's why it's so strong. A lot of times people think that types of welds are uh, joints and they, they switch them up a little bit. Like there is no uh, butt weld. That is a groove weld in a square butt joint. So different types of, um, of welds here. Let's go back a little bit. And you can see by hammering and compressing, there's diffusion welding. You don't necessarily have to arc weld something. Uh, hammering, that's the old school way of doing it with an anvil and a hammer and they hammer it together until the, the, the weld is created through fusion. Let's go back down here to the types of uh, welds. I circled these two over here. The most common, fillet and groove. That's basically what people think of when you're thinking of welding, a fillet weld or a groove weld. All these other ones are also welds, but these are the main two, and that's why I circled them. We're going to go over to the rest of them, however. Uh, so let's go over here. Uh, servicing weld, uh, it's when you add metal to a surface and build it up. Maybe you have an abrasion. Uh, I always think of like a uh, backhoe bucket with the, the fingers, if you will, dig into the ground, they get webbed. You got to surface weld those back up. Uh, plug, plug weld, you uh, drill a hole in it or punch a hole in it, and then you plug weld it in there. Uh, slot, same type of thing. Flash seam, spot, uh, projection, upset. Those are all resistance processes. So what they do is they have two pieces of copper. Uh, I always go with a spot weld because everybody's seen a spot welder before. Not everybody, but most people have it. Uh, they take two pieces of copper, they come together. A huge amount of amperage surges through the copper. It hits the material, which has um, a poor electrical resistance, which causes heat, which creates the weld. And what we'll do is at the end here, we'll look at some of these um, different types of welds. We'll get illustrations up so you can see them better. But uh, seam, usually there's two copper uh, wheels rolling around. I always picture a gas tank on a car. They come together like a clamshell. Um, but we'll look at some of these later so you get a better idea. Projection, another resistance one, uh, where it has little, uh, kind of looks like cones coming off like a, like a nut, and then the resistance from the heat, the heat is created through the resistance going through, and then projection's actually weld. Um, back and backing welds, that's when you're doing it, like a groove joint. And you have a back weld you would do first. So it's basically the progression of when you do it. The back weld, you flip over the groove and you back weld it after you've welded the front. Backing weld is when you do it before you weld it, the front of the groove. So it's just the progression of when you would do those two welds. So what we'll do now is we'll look up some illustrations for all these and kind of give you a better idea of what they look like. We just pulled this up on the overhead projector here, and this is um, fillet welds and a couple of different joints that they can be applied in. It's probably one of the most common um, welds there are. These are done all the time. So these are your uh, fillet welds and a couple of different joints. We'll take a look at our grooves next. It's probably the next most common uh, weld. This is your groove welds here. A bunch of different joints that you can uh, prep up. Probably the most common, single V. They want a full penetration weld there. Square groove is pretty common too, but it's really actually a very weak weld. That's why you do these edge preps. So we'll move on to our next group here. Now this is a pretty good uh, illustration of your servicing plug or slot. Like I said before, plug and slot, they just drill a hole in it, punch it. And then they, they plug they plug all it in. They, uh, they fill it in, and you're basically putting two pieces of metal on top of each other. Uh, the servicing welds, you can see up top here that they're just building up the surface. So let's move on to our next group here. 
This is our next group here. They're kind of doing some arcs versus some resistances. Uh, the resistance welds are typically done with your spot right there. That's typically done with a resistance weld. You can do it with an arc welder too. But um, you can see flash here, that's typically resistance. Uh, seam weld is typically resistance and upset is typically resistance. But there is ways to do kind of both for some of these. But that's kind of what those welds all look like. Uh, there should have been a projection in here. I, the illustration didn't have it, but we'll look up projection on its own. I just did a little Google search here to find a projection weld, and there was a nice little illustration here. And you can see, like I said before, they're usually there are cones or some kind of projections here. Uh, the pressure comes down, the uh, amperage goes through, creates the resistance, um, the heating from through the resistance of the uh, amperage th flowing through the material. And then these are where your little welds would be. So that's projection weld. Last but not least, I think we have like a vacuum vacuum welds. This is an awesome picture that I found. It's very basic, gets right to the point. These are typically confused. People can mix these up real easy because they're so close. But you can see the backing weld is done first. So it provides backing. Then you do the rest of your uh, groove here. Then your back weld is done second. So you do this first and then back weld it there. That's all it is. It's pretty simple, but it's really easy to, to uh, mix up. So hopefully that uh, clears up what an actual weld is and the types of welds that there are. Um, thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld. We'll see you next week.